Hey you guys, it's Sujaya back at you with another video and in this one we are celebrating Holi, which is the Hindu festival that celebrates the commence of spring. It's also known as the festival of colors because in India during the time of Holi, everyone wears white, they go out into the streets and they throw colored powder at each other, which is so, so fun. And in celebration of this holiday, I wanted to share a treat that is eaten around this time of year known as Malpua. Now Malpua is like a hybrid between a donut and a pancake. It's deep fried batter that is then soaked in syrup and topped up with crunchy pistachios and saffron and it's so so good. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. And of course, if you're looking for the full recipe, just click that info box down below and everything you need is there. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to start by making the batter for our malpua. So I have a bowl with a little bit of all-purpose flour here and to that I'm going to add my leavener which is baking powder and then we're going to season things up with a little bit of ground cardamom and some ground fennel. I'm going to add a touch of salt and we're going to whisk all the dry ingredients together. Next up I'm going to add my wet ingredients so I have some whole milk that's going in as well as my secret ingredient sweetened condensed milk and this is going to give our malpua a beautiful fluffy texture as well as an intense milky flavor. And this is what our batter looks like when it's done. Nice and creamy, similar to a thick pancake batter. And now we're gonna hit the stove, we're gonna make our sugar syrup, and then we're gonna fry off our malpuas and then soak them in the syrup. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go. Making the sugar syrup could not be easier. Into this pan goes a little bit of granulated sugar, some water, and a pinch of saffron, the world's most expensive spice. Now we're gonna bring this up to the simmer, let the sugar dissolve, and then let it thicken slightly and then we're gonna keep it to the side while we fry off our malpuas. I have a frying pan with about a quarter of an inch of canola oil that I've heated on medium low, and now I'm gonna take little spoonfuls of my batter and pour it in ever so gently. And the key is you want to cook these malpua on low heat because you want them to be completely cooked through into the middle and for them to get a nice golden brown color. And as they're cooking, to encourage them to puff up, you want to sort of gently splash them with a little bit of oil, and that'll help get them nice and leavened. And as you can tell, you can see the bubbles starting to form on top of the malpua. They're looking nice and puffy, and they're starting to expand in size. And you want to wait until they're nice and golden brown before flipping them over. And then you want to cook it on the other side for about another minute and a half just until it's cooked through to the middle and it's nice and crispy all over. Now is the fun bit. Say hello to our little malpua pancake slash donut. I'm going to drop it into the syrup and we're going to coat it for about 30 seconds. You want it to absorb a little bit of the syrup and for it to get a nice coating on top. So splash it flip it, do whatever you need to do, 30 seconds. You want that top layer to get nice and glazed and that's what it's going to look like and we're going to do the same for the rest. And last but not least, I'm going to dress my malpua with a stripe of crushed pistachios right down the middle. That's going to add some beautiful crunch and then I'm also going to go in with a few strands of saffron just because we want them to be super royal and luxurious. These malpua look absolutely beautiful. They've been glazed, they've been nutted. This is a term that I am trying to bring to life. To nut is to sprinkle nuts on things. I nut, you nut, we nutted, okay? <laughs> and then that little bit of saffron on top, so, so perfect. I have to dig in, are you ready? They're so glossy and oh, Oh my gosh, it's like a warm sugar donut. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. 
The texture of the Malpua is absolutely crazy. If you look inside, it's a little hollow. It is so squidgy and springy, but tender at the same time. And that little hum of fennel and cardamom is so nice. It makes me feel like I'm transported to India. The kicker with this one is that beautiful saffron glaze and those buttery pistachios on top, which add major crunch. Whether you're celebrating holy or not, this is such an amazing dish to make for your friends. It is so simple and really, really impressive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a big ol' thumbs up. You know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe for more videos. And as always, if you have a question, comment, concern, or request, leave it in the comments box down below. Until my next video, I will see you all later. Bye.